Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tiny Stair. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Whoa. I can't do it, Pisces. Some days have been, I don't know. Ever since I screamed at Sir Socrates for putting me that freaking little baby bunny rabbit a few weeks ago, it, my shit's been off, man. Yeah, I've been doing the honey and the tea, I know. I think a lot of it has to do with, like, the pool and stuff, too. Like, being out in the humidity and the pool and the hot tub. I don't know what's going on. I don't even, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You may all keep laying down. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person that you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and then we're going to quit that shit together, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show! Oh, okay. <laughs> that just flew out. Show! Whoa, whoa, what was that? Okay. Show! Show! Woohoo! Shuffle, shuffle, baby. Let's go! Sure. Oh, I just lost my whole deck. Ha ha ha! Holy bejesus. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. You're going to have to give me a minute. Literally, my whole deck just lost its truck in mind. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy here. What the hell? Hail to the now. So we don't even have an overall energy for the reading because my deck went flipping cattywampus on me today, Pisces. I'm sorry about that. It is what it is. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Last card there. So I'm not going to be reading an overall energy for the reading, but I will read you what I do have down here on the table and we'll go with that jazz, right, baby? Yeah. Full card down here on the table. We've got the Knight of Wands here, the Ace of Wands here. Okay. Mmm, boy, Pisces. Looks like somebody's willing to shoot their shot. This is a new beginning here with somebody. Okay. New situation. Um, this person holds a lot of fire energy here, okay? So they're a very sensual person, okay? They might like to smoke tobacco here, too, or cigars. I don't know. They might like to smoke cigars for whatever reason. I don't know. But uh, this person here, hmm, it's a new energy here. So it's the Knight of Wands, okay? Yeah. Knight of Wands, he's impulsive, he's reckless, he comes in, gets what he wants, and then he leaves. And what does the Knight of Wands want? He wants, you know, the Ace of Wands. He wants to put his fire out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, the card! Nobody's going to be putting their fire out on Pisces. Uh, right, I get that. I get that, Judge. I get that, okay? I, I can appreciate that. So it looks like this is somebody new here, okay, that you're dealing with here. A new relationship here. Um, so, okay, what are we going to clarify first here, guys? We're not doing the Ace of Wands. I'm caught up between the uh, Knight of Wands here and the Fool here. Um, boy, oh boy. Let's see what the Knight of Wands wants, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands want here with Pisces? What do they want with Pisces? The Ace of Swords. Oh, so they're either going to give you clarity or they're getting clarity. We'll find out. Let's go one more deeper here on the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands here. Okay. Pisces. We're gonna, so, 
They're feeling very conflicted here. They're feeling very conflicted here. So they could either come in here and tell you that they're feeling very conflicted or they're getting clarity right now within their own selves that they're feeling conflicted. And why is this person here feeling so conflicted here with the Five of Swords? Why are they feeling so conflicted with the Five of Swords, please? Why is this person feeling so conflicted with the Five of Swords, please? Let's go, Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Sure, thanks. <sighs> because something that was said or some kind of information here that they found out. What is this King? Sorry about that, guys. What's this King of Swords here? What's this information they found out? What's going on with the King of Swords? Let's go with King of Swords. And I'll talk more. King of Swords. Let's go. Sure. Mm. Something that they found out here. They've gotten some kind of clarity. They're feeling defeated about this, though. Because it's like they want this here. Huh. Hmm. Let me, uh, give me a second, guys. You know, I'm sorry. I'm, I gotta feel this here. I gotta feel this. This one wants me to feel it. So it's like, yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Something here was said about what they were wanting here. There was something that was said that is making this person feel defeated here about what they want. There was something that was said. What was said? What was said here about what they wanted? Yeah, something that was said here about what they wanted here. It's like, I feel like this is, it's coming through here. I feel like this is a new relationship here. You guys are getting to know each other. And I feel like, you were like really, you said something to this person here about working together here towards something. And how is this going to work out? How is this going to work out if you don't know what you want here? This is what's coming through here. I This is literally what's coming through. This is a new energy of somebody that you're dealing with here. It's like a new relationship here, beginning of something new here. And um, you were like... Where's how's this gonna work out if you don't know what the fuck you want, right? Because they're kind of coming in here acting like they don't know what the hell they want. Because they're coming in here in the Knight of Wands energy, uh, the old in and out, in and out, like Clockwork Orange. I don't know if you guys have seen that. The old in and out, in and out. If you know that quote from Clockwork Orange, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. The old in and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah. So they basically have been. This person has been in and out of your life. Wow. So it's 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 an old energy here, but it's like new a new buildup of the energy is coming at play here. So the, the fires are burning again. The embers are going. Things are sparking here. But it's like if this person doesn't know what they want, then where is this? How's this gonna work out? Is what you said to this person. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, why is the fool here in Pisces person's energy? Thanks for your patience, by the way. Well, they're in love with you, Pisces. I appreciate your patience, by the way. Yeah, they're in love with you, and it's the devil's card crossing the lover's card. This person is, they cannot let you go. They cannot let you go, but at the same rate, it's like they don't have a game plan. They don't have a game plan. It's not a very well-mastered game plan here at all. Because they don't really know what they want. But they want a shot, but they're in love with you. So you're probably like, well, where's this going? Are we going to uh, have a boyfriend, girlfriend? Are we going to get married? What is your long-term future? And this person was like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my God, Pisces. Oh, hail to the no. To the no, no, no. Hail no. Hail to the no, no, no. Oh, hail to the no. Oh, shit. Oh, 
bejesus butt winkles here. Oh my god, get me a sandwich, somebody quick. <laughs> Ace of Wands, let's go Ace of Wands, come on. Bejesus butt winkles, I tell you what. Okay, we'll go one more here on that uh, Knight of Swords. One more here on the Knight of Swords here. Seems like they're coming in here real hot and heavy towards you because basically this person is fantasizing here about you, Pisces. Yep, and they're feeling like a desert queen right now because the fire is burning here. So hot that everything, all the water is evaporated into the air here, Pisces. We've got the Two of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles with the Seven. Oh, Pisces, this person's fantasizing about you. Yep. They are feeling like the desert queen here, Pisces, and they want this. They uh, this is a lot of passion this person's got for you. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do the one card for each sign, uh, but first I'm gonna do the final messages on what this person wants to tell you before we close off this reading. So, what else do you want to tell Pisces before we close off this reading? Yeah, they've been in and out of your life. The good old in and out, in and out here. They don't have a plan. But they like being around you here. Oh my God, Pisces. And uh, they sit around and they think about you a lot here, Pisces. This is, mm -mm. <laughs> This is something else. All right. Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Uh, this situation has been a heavy burden. But they're keep, they're chucking along here. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer. Cancer here. Um... Well, Cancer, they feel like you are very ta oh, Cancer. Pisces. Pisces, Cancer feels like you're very talented at whatever you do. Um, and you've mastered a lot of things. How does Scorpio feel about Pisces? Scorpio is heartbroken here. How does Aries feel about Pisces? Aries, Aries is obsessed with you. How does Leo feel about Pisces? Leo wants something long-term here with you. How does Sagittarius feel about Pisces? Sagittarius has got a lot of anxiety, fear, worry here about this connection here. Possibly not working out. Libra, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure, a Libra here. Um, looks like a Libra and you um, are on a break right now. Gemini. Sure, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini is wanting some... So they're wanting to... A label on this relationship here okay they are wanting a label on this relationship Aquarius how do you feel about Pisces sure Aquarius and you guys are not talking at all um, Virgo 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 here uh, they could be spying on you or getting information on here okay how does Taurus feel about Pisces let's go Taurus 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 um, they want to tell you that they are walking away here from something that's not working out. Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces? Cappy, 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 Cappy. Come on, top to bottom for me, Cap. Sure, Cap. Uh, you and Capricorn are definitely holding back from each other right now. So, Carol's adjourned.